it to bring a video of what I'm going to teach you or work on the next session. But unfortunately, I discovered when I was going to my cassettes that my handwriting was dreadful a few years ago. And although I've obviously scribbled what they are, I couldn't understand <laughs> either the notation, what it was, or what the date was. So I couldn't, after half a day, I couldn't actually find uh, the video. So unfortunately, you're going to have to believe what I tell you. Um, <laughs> we all wait for this. Yes. You don't know. <laughs> we all believe this. In 1993, I was invited to the States do a tour around the southeast states, uh, basically to meet Garland teams. Because in the states, although there are quite a few sides, sides, they are a long way apart, and they don't get together very often. You know? So it was a question go and see them. It was a basis. I taught them one, and they did me, did one for me. So I videoed some of their dances and so on, and turned it all there. Um, and it was great fun. When I got to Asheville at the end of North Carolina, there was a team from Little Rock in Arkansas, which didn't mean very much to me, as I said, the point that they had travelled a thousand miles to get to this workshop. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Well, that's just dumb. It makes a difference on the end of If you try to travel, that's miles on the end of the their dances was superb. <laughs> but hey, anyway, I ended up in one state in Beaumont, which is just outside uh, Washington in the uh, Appalachian, well, the Shenandoah Valley, really. And the men's side there do sugar uh, very well to start with. That's, that's almost the embarrassment of reading an American sign where actually does it better than you can do it yourself or you have nothing to do. But what particularly interests is the formations they actually use to do the dance. And that's what I want to work on. But before we start, we have to learn a little bit about Sherbourne, aren't we? Right? Now, don't worry about your hands to start with. Uh, we're going to coordinate all that bit. But if you start on whichever foot you like, let's start on the left foot. One hop, two, three, step, and jump up. Then bend, and bend, and bend, and bend, and jump. Right? The yeah. 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 No way I'm going to break it down. Have we lost our music? Doing the shuffles, I don't want to see 
isn't a bottom waggle, right? and it isn't a flat movement either, it's a down and up. It's a chunk, 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 chunk type movement. And I'd rather have the body bounce in a cha cha rhythm rather than getting you to twist your feet and thinking you're doing anything, you can do it by the feet, but it actually looks rather stupid.
as a musician. And when Russell worked in the late 50s, got interested in the time he realised he might have been going to talk to him. He got there just in time to show she died the year before. So she played the music up to the day she died, they all told him.
turn and bring your arms in. <laughs> and you find that your little arms, which has no mass at all, have enormous amount of pressure. Uh, by bringing them when you produce the about the conservation angle of momentum and all that sort of rubbish. There is some point in working mathematics at school now. I'll tell you that. But let's just try a little bit of stepping, two bars of stepping, two bars of this, one hop, two, three, one hop, two, three, and then gather your face the other way, and then do it down, and gather it, and come back. Right? A sort of foot out.
Right, round as you should be fairly obvious, you just go round. You go round. You go round two rounds, really, right? That's fairly easy. Um, the only problem comes, you do the side step, not like just been doing, right? Then we have to do a hay. Right? Yes! <laughs> It isn't actually to do. I take your face, yeah, right? <laughs> you all part the outsides past their inside by this shoulder, right? Yes, yeah, mind the right shoulder, right? We pass left to the middle and go a one arm ring and gallop. Right? Must be in by well, don't worry, don't worry about what happens. Back to you, Sandy. I'm trying to get the eight of ones clear for a right? <laughs> Right shoulders, left shoulders in the middle, and galley, so you move around one place. Now, I don't want a clever dick to tell me that doing it twice is <coughs> back to where it started, I know that. It does, you know. Now, back to where we were, and let's, let's see what the middles do. The middles pass to the right, turn, and come back to the left. Right, so there's three options in the middle, right now, but they're facing in, right? And what they do, to do their galley, they move around one place for their galley. Right? They move around, so you're in a place ready for another side step. Let's, can we try that? Should I lose you? <laughs> Back to where you started this uh, volunteer lot. <laughs> Can we, can we have a oh, right. <laughs> Let's just do a side step, the half a side step, and another half, whatever we're going to call it, right? Cloverly, freely shamrock. Thank <laughs> you. 
and go longer. <laughs> Changes your direction on the hop. Uh, when you come back, it gives you a, a hop. Yeah, a hop means you pressure. Back to back, you should be able to work out yourself. <laughs> back to back is, of course, forward passing right shoulders, and then cross, and then come back. Straight off again, across the back.
somebody did actually say last night when um, me and Val were pouring through this book, say, you don't do it like that, yes you do. They said, what they'd like to see us have a really good row over it. Well, we've started already. <laughs> no, in, during this chorus, you do not bring your sticks down smartly. Um, because you, you can't do it when you're doing it up and down the sides. You just, you, you stand beautifully at attention, still not moving or scratching anything, not distracting people from the people. This is one of my bugbears, um, watching teams dance, um, where the corners are crossing, and the other four dancers are doing <laughs> right, the all worse, yes. yes. Um, we, Phoenix, when, whenever we get together, actually has standing still practice. <laughs> Deliberately standing as still as we can while somebody else is dancing. Um, and it, and that's why it's now doing a seven chance. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, we should be able to do the entire dance now. The dance. <laughs> the Ash Grove. <laughs> Yes. Start placing it.
Okay, well, which I think is the nicest of, of all the, uh, the, the, the stick dances. Um, it's a corner chorus stick dance. It's the, uh, the way it goes is there is a figure and first corners do a crossing of some sort. There is another figure, second figures do a crossing. Thank you. 
Now, I mean, you have to come to the end of the interview. You can just stand there and dodge the sticks as they're whacking all about. Okay, let's, let's see um, how well you, uh, you can manage that without breaking it down any further. Um, the whole thing? The whole thing. B to an A. Oh, why not?
have you next to number one? You're number three. Now, what's going to happen here? You, you had the easy job. All you have to do is a series of capers around the outside of the set to your corner's place. You turn the long way around because you've got plenty of time and you travel via clockwise. You travel clockwise using a series of all the way around. Just at that last paper where everybody joins in, ready to go off to the next piece. <laughs> and full corners when it's their turn, do exactly the same. Turn the long way out, but go through your shorty seat. You see what I mean?
And then you have, you should be in a reversed set now. You need to get back. This, although in the book it calls it a figure, it is in fact an extended chorus. It starts the chorus music. The top four dancers and the bottom four dancers do a right hand start, which means you have to swap your sticks over. And you dance around two places. And when you get to that place, you, you caper on the spot. But is this a caper or a record paper? It would be a. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, of course. Which gives you a chance to line yourself up because now the middle four are going to do a left hand start and the ends are going to turn one another by hand. You still go around two places, which means that the ends actually end up back where they started from. You then do right hand stars, top four, bottom four, round two places, and the break caper. Yes. You then do left hand star, middle four, twice, twice round, yes. twice round at the end. And you should be back where you started from. And that's the end of the dance. If you care to reverse your set again, and we'll dance that. Uh, see, this is a chorus, so we don't need a beat on it. The important thing to remember is you always go around two places, make sure the paper on the spot, and you're alternating right and left hands. If you're at the end and there's only two of you, you still go around two spaces. Thank you. 
me why you're going to do it. Because you look to see what the other members of the side are doing. And then do it. Right, so, sets of six. For those that are going for us. Well, we're looking at some three hedging dances.
backwards until the very last moment. You put in uh, a very fast surge.
three crossings. Yeah. Right, left, right. You do the last of the triple steps on the spot, turning to face a cross, and then caper across. Because, because people are facing in various directions, it's very difficult to all caper across if you're not. So you use the last of the triple steps to turn you into a, a set facing a cross. So I'm terribly sorry, I did lie to you there. So we'll do that again. Oh, yes, you so we've got cross to the right, cross to the left, cross to the right, on the spot, turning, ready for capering across. And again.
course, go with all six dancers moving the same way. <laughs> so the actual um, makeup of that was an open side step right with a single to pull down, open side step left, single pull down. Going into the drag and triple step, step hop, one, two, and extending the third one with a, a backward cycling movement. <laughs> it really is step hop, one, two, three, but in fact it's step hop, one, two, three. <laughs> Yeah. Which leaves you with the right foot in here to do close, close, cable turn. Very simple. Is it, is it? That's a slow. Oh, right. Flash! <laughs> oh, oh, no, it's only one step. It's only half a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah.